we are live. All right, so this is going to be one of the most boring videos you could watch. It is what? what do you, it's an unboxing of Keyforge decks. But we're not actually talking about the decks. And we're not showing the decks, decks. outside of very quick. And yeah, so this, yeah, it's pretty boring. Out, but to show that our sealed, so this is for our leaderboard sealed. Uh, if you want to pick up that camera so you can see all our boxes. Yep. So here's it. So we got four boxes of Coda, four leaderboard decks, and four boxes of Mass Mutation. First thing we're going to do is unbox all of them in these boxes so they're shuffled so that way whatever variance there is within boxes is sort of spread out. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, then we'll go through the process of for each player we'll have one of these cool number cards. We'll take deck picks of all the decks so that way here at 8 o'clock tonight I can send them all out to all of you so you can start looking through them. And that's pretty much all we're going to do is take a whole lot of deck pictures. I'm taking the deck pictures so Ewok can't even see what the decks really are. And then uh, that's it. This is going to be unexciting and now we're going to do a lot of work. So, But it is honest. So, so you want to start breaking MMs. I'll start breaking Codas. We'll sure. just make stacks of them here so that we can start cracking them. Slinging boxes. Woo! Slinging boxes. Making a mess of JR's house. Box. So, yeah, this is where I open the 100 SAS Mass Mutation deck and give it to one of our viewers, listeners, or friends of the podcast and then cry a little bit. Sheep here is actually not even playing in the event, so this is this is a very, very difficult piece for him to crack, but not do anything with them outside of give them to others. Yeah, so I've had all of this material, plus four more boxes of Coda that are prizes, all sitting in my basement for the last two weeks, and I haven't been able to touch them. So that's, uh, that's sad, right? Sad. Yeah, it's a very exciting setup. But maybe once we're all done with this, we can actually play some Keyforge with your Keyforge. Ooh, I like that. We could even play Sealed as I, I have a box of Worlds Collide there. Did you open that MM box? I that did open the MM box. Um, There were three things that were okay. I hit... Uh, before the update last night, it was 79 SAS, 77. Um, well, 70, my best. Nothing super, still 79. Yeah, nothing super spicy, but uh, definitely some playable. Uh, for everyone who was in Chainbound last night, I opened up that fourth Coda box. Did you know you can smell Brobnar in decks? Ooh. Well, I need that for Worlds Collide because I have a tendency it to is, pull Worlds Collide. It is a bit of a heartbreak that one of the... Um, Yes. Or do you want to shuffle these first? Do you want to open the yeah, leaderboard? Yeah, go ahead and start shuffling them. I got Shuffle them, make some go. files that you can reach. Going in front. Um, shuffle, shuffle, yeah, shuffle. It's, it's a little sad that one of the leaderboard cards is Tremor in Worlds Collide, because that means one-third of these leaderboard decks are guaranteed to have Brobnar in Worlds Collide. So, sorry, folks, but at least they're alternate art. And Tremor is one of the better cards you could get. Yeah, Tremor is... It's at least got function, especially in with mass mutation and world collide being such board centric stack. So this is my organization method here of distribution. Dip Throw in a box. Typical for him. Okay. Have you ever seen like where people throw money? Woo! Where's the money shot here? We just throw it up in the so air. So hopefully my information is correct, because I don't know if you guys can see that, but that says G20KL, which I believe means leaderboard deck 2. Uh, if not, I've been lying to you all, and we have leaderboard deck 1. Which might be better, because we'll they'll find have out better alternate art cards in them. Yeah, you'll find out soon. So when these get opened, uh, if we can see this here somewhere well, uh, they're actually not even in boxes. They come as decks, just straight open. So... Not finished with you. Robdar, do I 
I see a Tremor. Yes, so these are definitely leaderboard deck twos because uh, one of them has no other possibility. So the way they come, they actually show one, two, three. So this was supposed to be month one, month two, month three for actual leaderboard releases. Um, but being that we're not doing that, we're just going to flip these babies. Oh, don't, i got to quit looking at these. None of these belong to me. I can't look at them. There's a little envy, I think, that's coming out, friends. Yeah, so I got four boxes of leaderboard decks, and I get to keep zero of them. So I don't even get, I don't have a leaderboard two deck. But my hope is that nobody else is running OP. Nobody, most stores aren't even asking for it. That uh, at the conclusion of this event, I'm going to talk to my store and see if we can get more leaderboard decks. All right, I'm moving this so everyone can see over here. That's, I took from our big giant box, and I just randomly shuffled them around, and now we have big giant stacks. That's right, I forgot. So, as you can see in this one, I don't know if we can actually see it anywhere, but they actually have icons on the front of the deck now for the leaderboard, so you can tell that they're special, plus all these have leader, store leader in their name titles. So these are um, more put that, interesting. Put, put, put that back up again, because... Do you see? So it says four. That's nice. And store leader. And they all say store leader. So it's much easier to tell it's an alt art deck than the first set. The first set of releases, you just got to look in the deck and see what the alt art, yeah. see that there's an alt art card. And honestly, all I did with my alt art from the first season was to go ahead and write on the side and Sharpie, yeah. alt art. Yep, that's what I did too. All the decks say alt art, so you got Sharpie marks on them. All these decks are going to end up with Sharpie marks on them because it's, we're going to use it to help keep things but it'll be on the cellophane so we're not that much of animals oh you took the little cutter okay i have the box we're yep. just gonna do the same thing here we're gonna dump all these guys yeah, in the box right. so we can shuffle them up so that way throw them in the box so is this what it feels like to be a whale because i don't think i've ever had this unopened amount of keyboards in front of me just i have never opened this is nice. 12 boxes of keyboards at once i have done six but i've never done 12. so all I'm this talk of whale, whale. <laughs> but isn't that a shout out to wookie with his whaleness of, yeah his uh, whaleness <laughs> of four boxes yeah i mean we I, love you wookie i've done six maybe i did eight once but uh but i did eight a few i mean i opened i think I think I've opened 20 Matthew Jason boxes on my own, but I get a pretty good deal on them, so. Okay. All right. So this is our box of leaderboards. Now we're going to jump them and stack them back up on the table so we can pull from them. All right, jump in. That's good. Good enough. So now we just... I like you do that just so... I don't even see any decks. All right. The slow part of this is going to be mass mutation because we got to open every one of those decks, rebag every one of those decks, take pictures of the Seriously? enhancements. I've never seen that before. What? This one doesn't have. I don't know if you guys can see, it but have tape seals? it doesn't. That one didn't have a tape seal. Eh, well, you know, every once in a while you see them with two or three tape seals. So you gotta yeah, everything them. else does, but I've never seen that. All right. Shh. I've already opened all these and took them. No. The the one that's here. I mean, it's it's just interesting because I hadn't seen that. You can see the tape seals here. Yeah, no tape seals on this one. And it's on neither side, too. All right. Are you okay with me going ahead and starting to... Well, I think we're going to do Coda, World Slide, and Magic That order each time. Okay. If you don't mind. So. Well, I guess what I was saying was to pull the tape off of... Uh, yeah, I don't Okay, that way it'll make it a little bit I don't faster. Care if they really see us opening the boxes, each and every digital box. If there's that concern that we're cheating the cheats, then uh, you know. We're not. There's okay, a ton of prizes here to give. To do that. Okay. So, actually, I think, I wonder if these have it. These ones don't. Yeah, that you can just. The newer printings. There. Well, I know the AOA printings on the inside. Of the box, it actually has a date code on the AOA box. Really? I don't know if that exists on mass mutation boxes, but it was in a like glue sealed spot on the bottom. 
I'll never look to see if it's in the NM boxes. I've never seen that. Do you just want me ripping that open? Typically, I pull the... Well, no, because I plan on using these to reship the deck, so let's not destroy them okay. all. I'm just making sure. I'm just trying to destroy this one and see if I can see a date code on it. I don't. So AOA, you could tell the print run because it said somewhere, and maybe these have them, and no, that was like, no. Okay, are we ready to do this? Sure. All right, so coder are fun because you just crack the bottom. Yep. Dump them. Here you go. So we're on number one. See? This is number one. one. All right, so real quick. So you can see the name, so that way you know this is all approximately legitimate. And then I put it here. Number one. God knows we hope this works. Okay, and then the World Squad deck. And number one. Now we're gonna take a quick check. Okay, so I slow down a little bit because I already have to. Do you want me to type them in on that spreadsheet? That would be the other piece. Um, you can. Okay. I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna take this picture, and then because it has enhancements like we expect it does, we now have to go through the process of opening and taking pictures of enhancements. So this is where it's really gonna get slow. And the only reason I don't want to open a ton ahead of time is I just don't want to get things messed up. I suppose you want to start sharpening numbers on the, these ones? Yeah. Just on the back somewhere, which is somewhere on deck ones. Can I just put it on the side? So I, I, yeah, somewhere that I can find it later is fine by me. I say actually on the top would be good because that's what I'm going to see. Looking so at you the want them on the top. Got it. Is this a garbage bag? Mm-hmm. No, no, this is deck boxes. I have... Throw the deck boxes over there, and I'll put cellophane in here, maybe. Okay. That big box that's sitting on the floor, you can just throw the deck boxes in there. There he goes. And then I get to get excited when I see some ridiculously enhanced card. Well, I think that you want... Do you know how hard it is not... <laughs> try to probably put these decks as hey, I'm not down. I'm not looking at them right now. Actually the Coda box that I just opened yesterday, I went ahead and separated it in into like tried to do it via SAS just from what I could recognize. And I thought it was a really nice uh practice actually. So then here we have this little setup where we're going to lay down our enhanced cards. So we can screen cap and send those over. I was really proud of myself that with that coda box, I was uh, I separated them in good and bad, and then went roughly based on oh. SAS. I only hit, messed up one, and it turned out better for me, and then it was seventy five SAS then. So switching cameras, boots, not yeah, fantastic, one. but I think this will. Okay, so now I've taken the first bunch of pictures. So, I don't know if you guys have seen them. All of these get rebagged in these team bags from Ultra Pro, and they work really well. Yeah, they do really work fantastically for rebagging decks. And they're resealable, so you can open your decks and close your decks. I love you. But I think that your piece, Dan, takes longer. takes longer. So hand me the cutter, and I can cut. I will. Cut open the end deck. Yeah. So at least I can speed up a little bit. Yeah. No, for sure. We'll see. That's. So yeah. See. Ooh, Coda. Little team bag. Write a number on the top so I know what it belongs to. Clyde. And here's MM. And then this, along with this, goes into the box. Boxes for all our decks. That way I know where they belong. So we're doing this by number, because then afterwards we're gonna put everybody's name into a randomizer, give everybody a random seed. One, two, three, four. Okay. Galactic. Alright, I just want to check my picture folder. Quick. Yep. I'm gonna make sure they're Dark fairy. There. Secure droid. Which, of course, this is in tablet mode Your or Windows, and I don't know how to use it. Here's Dark. Go. 
So saw that you may want, I may just cut this open for the future, Dan. If that makes sense. Because while I'm not looking at this, I could be accused of that. So I want to take all doubt out. Click on this. Get the picture. Get the camera roll. And I want to see one, two, three, four pictures. It looks pretty good to me. Might actually be pretty easy to sort out because every fourth picture will be a should be a red collage picture that looks like this. This looks pretty good, so let's do it. We grind. Okay, going for number two. You ready? Uh, yes. I think I'm ready enough. Okay, number two, Coda. There we go. Leaderboard. Amen. You're fine. Did you already sort out the. I did. They're up on top. Not really. This only needs to get counted. Coda. No, oh, this deck didn't get a lot of enhancements. Actually, I found low enhanced decks, although not as much variable, the general quality of the card was actually pretty high. All right, going to three. January time. time you can number and sharpen sure those two whatever I guess everything we can put on you and not on me is good right yep get to see my beautiful handwriting apologize ahead of time if you're a teacher it should be totally legible I teach fifth grade yeah you better write by then or no everything's on computers no no we Actually, quite a bit has moved away from handwriting on the board. When I started a long time ago. Two in, two, two, two. Number three. number three. Here we go. Coming in with number three. That is your... Coda. 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 Leaderboard. Woo! Can see that little symbol sneaking out. Oh, he's got lots of symbols on him, doesn't he? And there's your MM. All I did was open. I know that'll slow it up a little bit, but then I think it's a little bit easier to say I'm not messing around with people. Four. Oh, this one's got a lot of enhancements, too. Yeah. Four, Coda. Oh, that box is failing. And M. Sorry. Worlds Collide. And M. M. Get to do forty eight of these. <laughs> Can I tell you that it's really hard not to look at? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. just looking at the t the names of the, like the deck name, which doesn't tell me anything. There is a want to be able to look at those deck lists, mm. but well, it is a surprise for all of us. In the meanwhile. box so we keep things moving Oh, 
Well, thanks, Blake. If you have any questions, do you just feel to contact me. Give me my phone. And thank you to my daughter for allowing us to use her easel. Beautiful, beautiful easel there. Actually, works really well. Yeah, that's uh, helps with my setup quickly. Yeah, the first part was all <laughs> set up. Is this going to work? A couple yeah, test recordings. A, spent an hour just getting everything set up, making sure stuff looks good enough. Like I said, we don't actually expect anybody to watch more than a couple minutes of this video. And even if they do, they'll just fast forward to their deck number just to make sure it all seems up and up. I would guess. I, I'm not. Yeah. I, I'll I be honest. Think gonna, if this gets two views, uh, I'll be amazed. Okay, so we're on uh, number four. Number four. All right, number four. Here we go. Whoop. Beautiful code. Can you imagine if he's got sounds for showing you cards? Can you imagine his key forging sounds? Yes, they are amazing. There's Coda. I don't know if you can see. Leaderboard Worlds Collide. You do realize that with the leaderboard, I guess you're going to know ahead of time what people are now playing because uh, you have three chances. Mass mutation guy. Oh, sorry. That was Mass Mutations. Here, this is Leaderboard. You get two looks at this one. This is your MM deck. I thought I opened it for you. Maybe. I just, I'm putting a slice in the top. I'm trying to help. Nope. This one's mine. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. That's telling someone that's hot. I don't know if it's actually hot, but it, it does got some hot cards in it, that's for sure. Hmm. Womp, womp, womp. So she went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 5. This is where Dr. Sheep just trolls us all tournament long. How did you choose that? Well, it's good. I like to see that I, we already got a deck with cards that I would be very happy to have in a deck. So, maybe these won't be stinky boxes. Because, like, you know, we've been listening to Keys to ESP, and every deck they open, they're like, stinky. They don't, they don't like anything. It's like 90 sass or garbage. By the way, shout out to Keys to ESP. Appreciate that uh, there's another podcast group that's out there that's trying. Uh, you did bother me a little bit with uh, with the triad. Triad yeah. sealed is you get to look at the deck houses, but not the decks. Triad as a whole you're going to be able to look at the whole deck list Ooh, and American the houses. Triad. Yeah. Maybe Canadian triad, something different. Uh, Canadian. Canadians. Isn't Canadian nah. triad where they cover it in maple syrup? Ooh. I know. I can't help myself but make maple syrup jokes with Canadians. I'm, I'm a bad person. Again, we love you guys, and we appreciate that you're putting out maple content. Syrup. So. Maple Wait, does that mean when they go to Worlds, they will only be able to look at our deck? They'll only be able to look at the houses uh -oh. where we get to look at their deck list? Is that... Oh, I've already missed a picture. Oh, man. Where did I go? Uh, I got one with the... Apparently, sheep can't talk. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> and no, take a photo. It's the, uh... It's double pictures on mass mutation that I... Make sure I get both pictures. That's right. Yeah, we do have that one <laughs> up there. Rot row. What's up? I said we do have that one up there. Here, why don't you set that over on the side and then I'll just re box it because I'm an idiot. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, like, getting off the move every time is ridiculous. Okay, that will give me some steps today. Yeah, I think yes. it took that picture. I can do that next time. All right. We're going on number five. There it is. Boop, boop, boop. 
First up, Coda. Leaderboard. MM. Okay, remember to take this picture first. Don't be a dummy sheep. Hey, we'll get the routine eventually, right? Yeah, like the time for me to get it. Well, this one's easy. There's only two and a half cards. Ah, but one of them's double in hands. There are just so many good cards in Mass Mutation. Oh. Pull that one. That one. That one. That one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing during, uh, while well, you guys are playing, I get to do some math to see who wins awards based off SAS numbers, because we're going to give out a few decks based off of uh, who got the worst junk. And then I think I'm going to take the straight average of every, of every deck and see who got closest to dead center and hand okay. out something something that way. Number six, because... Then I can leave them right there for sheep. There is your coda. There is your leaderboard. And there is your Ranch. MM. You know what? I don't even know what I need to see these right now. I need to stick them, stick them, stuff them. Just in case I have to open the generator. Get up. Get. Then I won't get up. Off to number six. Sheep really doesn't want me to do any work, so I'm good with this. Seven. God, keep seeing these good rares. Well, we do have a few decks here, Sheep, so. Yeah, hopefully there's some smokers in here, right? Hoping. But not for you. Yeah, that's Ooh. about right. Did the I... athlete of the vault. Hey, I got my first teacher deck in Coda. I was with that Coda box. I was really, really happy about that, actually. I am certain there were some mathletes that uh, played this game. So now you can be a mathlete of the vault. Come here. Ready? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just trying to make sure I get these pictures with everything no. in them the first time. Yeah, and those pictures are the most important piece. So, is there anything? These are definitely the most time consuming piece, right? Yeah. Is there anything else that I can do to help you? I don't know. Like, maybe we would save a few seconds if we were round robining where pictures were taken. I, what, what we really should have done is had a third computer set up to take these pictures, maybe. Oh, sure. Right? That, that might have helped. But I think having them all together in the end will probably help yeah, us. Yeah, we'll probably make it a lot easier for me to deliver them. Come in. So I'm sorry if these enhanced pictures aren't the most fantastic pictures, but I think they will be sufficient for you to mark your enhancements on your deck, which is all it's really about. Hmm, that's six, seven, eight. I don't think I bought enough boxes. I got another one for you. Okay. We'll get, we'll cover you. Okay. Right. We are going on to number seven. Seven. First piece coming from Coda. Hi. Uh, this is why we're not trying to pronounce these names, because this one would be a stinker. Well, that was a long hold for that leaderboard. 
and your MM. Blue stickers on a lot of these means they're English backs, as uh, we could all guess. These are going to all be English backs. Number nine. I am a simple person and can't do forms. Uh, shout out to Hater, uh, who I have now my first foreign language deck, so I have a French deck. And Tara was really excited because she actually took French in high school and college. So, and anybody who actually listened to our podcast would probably realize that English is difficult enough for us, especially me. I thought it was pretty neat. I actually kind of wanted to have a, you know a deck from each of the languages, so. Did you hear, what were they, one of the podcasts, they are talking about how the foreign language decks don't have legacies. Really? Because Coda wasn't printed in that language. Oh, is that the Russian? Because yeah. Russian came out later. Right. So, and it, they never printed Coda in it, so there is no Coda cards in any of the Russian decks. Okay. I just think that's interesting. I, I don't know if that actually, I mean, being that Mavericks generally, or Legacies generally don't mean much, like it's... Number eight. I don't think it's a big deal that you can only, uh, you can't get them. But it does seem to take away a little bit of the fun. Toto. Leaderboard. You know, and I don't, I don't know if it's just totally um, Evan. sample bias, but there seems to be more legacies and Mavericks and leaderboard decks than anywhere else. Really? Because even though when we got that box, we had two or three in that box. Yep. Well, we've already picked up the pace because I no longer have enough time to read the deck. Or I'm See? doing better because I'm not reading the deck list anymore. Sad. So sad. That'll be your task during the commentate. Go through all the deck lists. Yeah, I don't Which know one? if I'm going to commentate games or stream some games or what. I haven't really decided. Come on. We'll see how good busy I am just getting the event running, dinking around with Jem because we're running it by Jem and I gotta screenshot each round's pairing so people can find them without having to do the screen share because the screen shares are kind of garbage. Well, that one was pain in my side. But I've already created channels on the Discord server, so. Number nine. So I have a channel just for putting up pairings so they don't get buried and. Other people's go down jibber jabber leaderboard. MM So who's gonna be the most salty about getting a trash pile of decks? I don't know everybody who's playing this by a long shot. As long as I don't end up with the three Worlds Glide Brobnar again, like I did at Vault Tour in Indy for Welcome to Worlds Glide. And I wasn't salty. It was just like, I didn't take anything except for that. And then you ended up with it. So that was my poll at uh, Pittsburgh. My Pittsburgh Just polls were bad. Were I did they? actually, the deck that I picked to play in Pittsburgh, which was far from my highest SAS poll, but my highest SAS poll had a creature control of two or three or something when looked yeah. up later. And in World's Glide, you cannot play that little creature control. So I had to play the Brobnar deck with creatures and something like creature control. <laughs> like. And uh, it didn't do great 
But it was actually for a low SAS deck, it was pretty good, and somebody actually flips it. Yeah, there you go. Number 10. It looks like he's getting there. Number 10. Oh, I was just oh, doing I can't the, do the voice. I was doing the. Nice. Count, count. No, no, I just hear number 10 and all of a sudden says, the dice now are tapped only. So we have to listen to that. Yes. So I can only fit nine to the side of my two little boxes here. Sounds like it helps if I. Man, I gotta say, looking at houses, board. I've seen a lot of smallers. I know how much people love mallers. Yeah. You still have, I mean, even if that's the case, you're looking at two others. You didn't open this one. I didn't? <gasps> Hand it back. Okay, I failed you. It's been a standard thing in our relationship. Punching you in the eye. Yeah, and I'm like giving, giving the freaking groom a black eye right before his wedding. Thankfully, it was well before You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome for a fun night. How often do you get a story where you can punch people in the face? Hopefully not that often. Yeah, hopefully not that often. I mean, it should be a fun story, not a normal story. I think we're still friends, so it works out. Well, being that we can always identify you by the knuckle print print in my head. Ooh, a onyx. No, that's, is the starter deck an onyxia, or is it an onyx? I don't know. I don't remember. We were actually talking about that on uh, After Chainbound yesterday. The need for two consistent decks for teaching purposes. Just very level, easygoing. Also being able to break it down, number 11, into little bits. So playing creatures, going ahead and reaping, fighting, leaderboard. And MM that I have pushed open for a fact. Look at him trying to invert his eyes. I'm trying. Anyone who knows me is. Want to be honest. And I always say, if he ain't cheating, he ain't trying. So, shows you, shows you what kind of relationship we have. That's why he's over at my house, so that this is up and up. No, it's because your basement is bigger than my whole house. Okay, maybe. So, you have some space where I have a disaster of keyboard tracks. That's a big name. Blah, 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 blah. Nerds. Something, something, something. Nerds. I like it. He who always splices together nerds. Nice. Splicing That's together terrible nerds. when the freaking doctor starts splicing nerds instead of a uh, jock. Come on, man. You're a nerd. Don't kill yourself. And subscribe for great jokes like that. Uh. I gotta keep talking to entertain JR, otherwise he's gonna become bored. I'm bored. Really bored. All right. Let's go with number 12. This is my lucky number. This is what I'm hoping for, or at least decks that represent this number. Foreign so. language? Zwolf. Zwolf. Okay. And we have German players, so they can make fun of me for trying to say 12 in German. You have your leaderboard. And that beautiful deck, MM. goes one of those 
more cards you like to see upgraded than this one. Is it similar to our... Uh, I don't know why I was holding that up. Just wish I have it now. Not a magical upgrade on this guy. Is it? Is sorry, it like sorry, an? Sorry, whoever gets twelve. Um, oh goodness! Your upgrades are stinky. Your enhancements are stinky. But I mean, it is a logo story and disc deck, so uh, you get stinky ones because you got good houses. Do you have any uh, off-house fandangles, like our good, wholesome Rickster pulled? That was a sweet pull, by the way, Rickster. Yeah, he damn near rolled me with that deck yesterday. <laughs> it's one of those things, like, if he lands it and you can't do nothing about it. But you know what I really got rolled by in Chainbound last night? Yeah. D-Champ. And he lands his Mac the Knife. And then he upgrades it with the Universal Translator. Ah. So every turn, Mac the Knife gets to reap and then trigger somebody else to do something. And then he got... That, nice. he got the Reap, and then he had Force Field. So it stays warded, and then he landed a Light of the Archives on it. And yeah. I was like, I guess this game isn't for me. And I drew in the ability to kill it. The turn he puts Light of the Archives on it. And oh. now it's all of a sudden too big for me to do. All right, 13? 13, here we go. Number 13. We're going to go ahead and first show you. There you go, number 13, number 13. We have our leaderboard. Don't stab him. Ooh, McMansion. You know, with those where you can buy a thing, I could see instead of buying my name, Buying McDuck. Oh, goodness. I could see putting McDuck into the thing. Like, yeah, this is why, uh, what was the submarine or the British ship that ended up being coming, like... Oh, like, yeah, Bodie McBoatface? Bodie McBoatface. This is how we end up with Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> oh, I'm sure somebody put Bodie McBoatface into this. I'm not for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have we had any no enhanced decks yet? We have not had a zero enhancement deck yet. I've actually opened like four or five of those yeah, myself. Really? We got 15, 16, come back to writing some numbers. 17. Now it's a much better enhancement for you. 18. How heartbroken are you when you see all your enhancements land on an artifact? In a deck that doesn't recur artifacts in some way. Like, isn't that, just that, that is pretty sad. Yes, it's very, very sad. What else was my recent search? I added a search for Monument to Faust Kay. animator decks. No, not uh, Monument to Shrips animator deck. Okay. Right? So, in theory, if you get it out and get your tricks in the junk hole where he belongs, um, right, then you animate it, and then that thing just gets used its action to steal every turn or every logos turn. I don't know, it's probably not good, but but that's what sheep goes plus, for. But if you get some capture pips, yeah, that now you know it's like people were all looking for the redacted animator, but redacted can only have fireful one key. Where this one now, you just can animate it, you action steal. Where are we at? 14. 14. There so then go. you can action steal with it, and then if you have some capture in logos, then you can put more on it and then spend it. There is your beautiful pull from uh, Coda. It's not good, but it sounded fun. Oh, I'm very much about fun right now. Worlds Collide leaderboard and MM sliced open on the top. I just hope I don't like drop this box and have to watch the video to see what the best <laughs> number. 
That would be the worst. Oh, there would be our one of the two views I'd right there. I'd be like, okay, so we're re-sorting decks and we're re-randomizing because uh, I am not watching myself <laughs> talk for three hours. Uh, that is pretty funny. Right? Wouldn't that not be the worst? Yeah, no, I'm... Like, I don't know about you, but I have never listened to an Archon's Arcana. Or, sorry, Archon's Arcana. Uh, um, an Archon's Corner after I've been on the show. I, I listen to it. I, how? How do you... One... Maybe you don't sound as much of an idiot like I do. Uh, maybe that's what it is. I'm used to recording for school, hearing my okay. voice, plus seeing the kids, but... Like, also, there have been a couple episodes where I, I like her because there's a lot that's still thinking in the background, yeah. and I don't necessarily say it. And then so, I come and check myself, and there have been once or twice, and I'm like, oh, why did I just say it that way? Or yeah, so no lie, we have minimum prep for our shows, right? Like we could do a lot more prep. <laughs> is that is that clear enough for everyone? Uh, no, we have five minutes before we start sure. recording. Um, and sometimes we throw ideas around before, but we really don't prep a lot beforehand, which I'm sure comes across as we just ramble on in random directions. But that also lets us lead into... So you mean once we've both come that our yeah. time has drastically increased? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. But it lets us... I think it lets us lead into possibly interesting discussions. Like yep. Like when they're really scripted, you stay on track and, you know, it's really scripted. I'm sure both 15. formats have their value. I do think we generally stay on keyboard topic, except when I'm making fun of Wookiee Pokemon. Obsession. Pokemon. Well, you also have to remember that, Sheep, once you and I have come in, it's been pandemic, and we haven't gotten a ton of news. Um, that's kind of an understatement, but it, we really haven't gotten anything. So I'm just happy again. Thank you to all of our content providers. Um, let's see here. I, I pushed it up. You're good. So I've listened to ESP. Help from Future Self has been there. Um, Sanctimonious had one, but they've been out for a bit. Yeah, and like that was really, right, that was forced, I'm going to say, by the guys over at... Um, call discovery yeah and they've been very active consistent so i give call discovery credit for that so but man dan's sound quality was so bad in that one i couldn't listen it was like uh call discovery guy was so loud and then Dan was so quiet, I was just like, oh boy. I really wish I had time to do more video watching because I would like to watch more of the TTR stuff. Yeah. Because it's just not in my true, format. They they do well in tournaments and they have a like so, you know, like arguably I'm on Z's team, I'm coached by Z, like I have a very SAS play mentality, right? That's you know, it's just the meta I know, it's what I play. And those guys play differently, right? They they just play differently. So it'd be nice to be able to watch their stuff a little more because they have a different theory on the Voice game. Down, yeah. Where are we at? We are on number 16. Let 16. me set down Sharpie. All right. 16. Do you ever watch any of the TTR stuff? I have not, actually. I will be very honest. I, I wish yeah. did. I don't get – I listen to a lot of podcasts. So right. driving, driving into drive. work. Yeah, driving into work. I'm still driving, so I have that time. Worlds collide. However, I don't. I just don't see a lot of video. Yeah, and maybe that's because I'm busy at night too with the girls, or actually hopping in. I've been playing a lot more, and that has drastically improved my game. So I do appreciate that. So I won the recent T. No, I lost the recent TTR. So when they do their big tournaments, you know, they have 48 decks and they're going to run them all against each other. And that's cool. I, I like what they're doing. Like I said, I wish I had more time to watch. But you can fill out the bracket and then they give out some prizes for how you did. I got dead last in the bracket. 
dead stinking last. But they have this thing where dead last, the prize has always been provided by the person who's dead last, like a pass it on. So I actually won a blinking line, or not a blinking line, a, uh, who's the artist? Why, why am I brain farting? You've got to play that for me. I do, balance sheet. Balance sheet. So I won Sorry. a balance sheet play mat, which is one of those things I've always intended to buy for myself anyway. I have one. It is absolutely beautiful. I believe it's Imperial Road. And, and I went with Massa Swamp. It's just blacks and purples, and I okay. like blacks and purples. So, uh, but now I have to sponsor the next one. So that led me down, like, I'm on Team Sass, right? They get some kind of deal with uh, Luxury Playstyle. So I've got, that's why I got this. And for this event, I got those giant Luxury Playstyle keys coming. Nice. Those are kind of expensive, but they're cool. And they're one of those things, like, I would like to have them, but I would never buy them myself. But I would certainly like to win them. So we have them coming. That would be cool. All right. Number 17. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Coming up, we have Coda. We have had a ton of Mars. We have, which is going to be interesting. Mars, hot or cold, right? But that's which, which it. I mean, it, it can be. I'm like, I open from the bottom on that one. Yeah, Mars. Last few have only had two or three upgrades. Enhancements. I like to say upgrades instead of enhancements. I also am one of the ones who likes to say format instead of variant. I wonder how many corrections Wookie gets that those guys are idiots and don't know the difference between format and variant. It is easier to be on the outside. Nice 41. Okay, so I've been thinking about like We've been playing more, and, but we just play random crap at random times. I know. Like having a reason, one, to make more content because, you know, people do actually ask for more content. I, I, maybe there's only 10 of them, but hey, you know, content's content sometimes. Yeah. So I was thinking, we're both set up with cameras here, so, you know, we can put a thing together and record each other playing, right? Sure. Totally do that. But what do we do to make it sort of interesting? What's right. at stake? Oh. Well, okay. What's Ooh. at stake? We could definitely wager, but I was gonna say, what what do we play? And here's my thought. Now I think I have a slight advantage here, so we'll have to figure out how to balance that out. Hundred deck survival. Sass sorted. So we start at the bottom, and when you lose, you go up to your next best sass deck. And it just, uh, so it's gonna be like hundred games, right? But just grind through. No, it. no, it's not going to be a hundred because if we're both at a hundred, you have at a bare minimum. If you win all hundred and I lose all, it yeah. will be a hundred. So there's only gonna, oh yeah. So you will have more than a hundred games because inevitably. Yeah. So may, maybe a hundred. I, I just like the number of a hundred. All right, we're on eighteen. We are at number eighteen. Um, but you know, I just like the number of a hundred. Maybe that's a little too ridiculous. But we do own a hundred decks. We are coming back with some more Mars. Okay. So what we could do, though, to get 100 decks is... Uh, I am at 300 now, so this is easy enough to do. Yes. So what we could do is medianize our decks. Sure. Right? So you drop in your, you know, you drop the bottom and the top, and you play your middle. So that way, you know, you don't have to, because I maybe have bought fancier decks than you at the top end. So we play all our stuff from 65 to 75, essentially. Okay. Right? But then that's it. And you just play, and we play, and we play, and we play. And it'll be a reason for us to play more games, which is I like good. that. The other thing I was thinking we could do would be to ask listeners to submit a bunch of decks. Ooh, okay. And we could just play those. Play with those. But I was just thinking, what, what can we do to record some games, have some reason? And, and, like, it doesn't have to be a good reason to play keyboard, right? Any reason is a good reason to play keyboard. Yeah. But I think it would be fun just to, like, have to grind through. I mean, I think it'd be fun. And it I would have a blast reason to play it. a bunch of your junk, right? And, you know, Rickster's been talking about that. He's been doing sass climbs in yep. his own collection. So that kind of gives us a reason to do that. But it definitely works that way if you start at your lowest. So that way, every time you lose, you get a better deck. Well, a higher sass deck. Not necessarily better. Yeah.
47. 48. All right. Well, about 18, but, you know, yeah, that's where we're at. I could get one more. Though. You're fine. All right, number 19. Coming up. I'm like, I haven't seen that selection. There we go. Coda, coda, coda. Leaderboard, Sports Collide. Camera. And your MM. Ooh, good houses. Good houses. No. Enhancements. Uh, Enhancements. 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20. All right. Uh-oh. Got what? a problem? Uh, hold on one second. No. Pop up? No. I hope I hit uh, the internet browser. We're good. Okay. I think actually at 24, we'll stop. Lock down that half of the video. Yeah, so if anything happens. <laughs> that's that's probably a smart idea. All right. We're not quite from point zero. Yeah. We could probably stop at 24 and quit recording because nobody's going to watch this. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I'm trying yeah, to get I some am, I got to say, I'm not particularly looking forward to dealing with shipping. But it's fine. All right. Bunch number 20. 20. Guess what we have? Coda. Mars. Mars. Oh, well, you know, triple battle league, double key abduction, so. Um, pause. Uh, glitching going through a t t t t t t t t tunnel. <laughs> Just kidding. There's leaderboard. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My family has to deal with TARDIS. <laughs> my uh, my family has to deal with me. I'm sorry. See, this is why I hang out with them. It makes me look funny. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, one enhancement, sir. You get one enhancement. Could be the difference. Oops, I'm pushing stuff over. Okay, from this side where I'm just looking at houses, there really seems to be a lot of Mars and Brobnar. That's all I got to say. Well, again, sample bias, like you were just predisposed to hate seeing them. Maybe so that's it, because I'm like... We are coming up to an hour. Yes. So I heard... Uh, okay, here we go. Number 21... Is it TTR guys that also have the dog that you can feed treats to? Or look at that Mars again. I, I, I thought someone was talking I know about that. Nothing about feeding treats to dogs. I have two. I have two little. Dogs. I have two kids, so um, you know, you can click like and. Uh... <laughs> Wait, no, no, no! Oh no! This is a subscribe. Subscribe. Right Patreon. Just send us space dollars. <laughs> I think actually what he's saying is uh, he's got two little kids and they're for sale. No, no, that no? is the last. No. I love my kids. Okay, I will sell my kid. Oh goodness. I will trade him for a box, but not not a whole. What about one of the ten dollar boxes? Well, that's why he's, <laughs> he's worth eleven dollars. <laughs> eleven dollars. Throw in that starter, and you are good. That was a crazy. Seven dollars US yeah. AOA boxes, like 
They were saying that's yeah. So it was uh, Lady Caffeina was who was talking about it that she heard seven hundred and fifty. That's incredible. Um, boxes. That's like nine thousand decks. Over nine thousand decks, which is two percent of the AOA population. Hmm. Right. And then, but I do like when people say it's not healthy for the game. I agree in the fact that now, like even on Health from Future Self, they're saying, well, I want to wait until there's a crazy $40 sale on Mass Mutation. And it's like, that's, that's not really healthy if, yeah, like, things, you know, because they cost more than $40 to make. So people are losing money at that point, and that sucks. Now, mind you, I'm a profiteer, and I'm happy to buy them at that price, but it sucks for the game stores. Like, I what know you? in some way we're kind of asking a lot. In this one, because you're paying retail for decks. <gasps> retail for decks? Nobody pays retail for decks. All right. Can't get them out of your hands fast enough, huh? Don't let me see. Don't let me see. I really could not tell you... Okay, this one has a lot of answers, so it's fine. I have not been looking. I've been doing a really, really good job with that, so I'm proud of myself. It's hard. I figure that once all those uh, AOA boxes come out, that I should actually be able to track down a decent ganger drummer combo. Troll you guys with Heart of the Forest. You, you are that guy. I gotta say, if I ever run a tournament and you seriously show up with the Heart of the Forest deck, you may earn your face punch. Woo! I mean, unless it's like a win-in one, like yours, which is okay, but it's not like gonna. I still think I should have played it for Gen Con, just to troll people. Oh man, they would have hated that. Yeah. Because it does have a win con on it. It does. So does my forty-nine sass triple phosphorus stars. It's called I draw good and you draw bad. Like that's always no. a win con. No, that deck is. Twenty-three. That deck is actually. 23. Ooh, some more Mars. Do, 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 do. Yeah, why aren't these AOA boxes? <laughs> well, we might be seeing something. Leaderboard? No, I mean, it's extremely fast. It's got a double nap seed. And so, with the ability to archive, that game rarely goes two time. It just doesn't. The issue that it has is it doesn't have the amber control. And so when it was really viable. It? No, if, if you have amber control on the other side, you're going to steal all day and let it go to time. But if you're not in that scenario, it's a good matchup. In case you guys can't see him, actually, after placing those decks, I then take the note card and put it right over the top that I can't even see the houses. So this is what it ends up looking like. Honest Ewok. I. What it better be known for. Could be things that are a lot worse than that, too. That's true. All right. So last deck here before we go on to pause and then do video number two. Last three decks. Three decks, sir. You're on 23, right? No, I have three decks to make up 24. Okay, fine. Technical. <laughs> There's 
still a lot of decks there. Okay, number 24. Coming in. Oh, shocker. Wait for it. Smars! Smars! I, I kid you not, I have never seen this amount of Mars. So. So that means maybe the five decks don't have them at all? Maybe it'll be the fight for lowest sass. That's the sad thing to say. Man, yeah, but I'm is... seeing good house combos in a lot of these Mass Mutation decks. Of course, like, Mass Mutation is just good. It is. Ah, throwing things. Feeling pretty good. Hour and six minutes. So, hour set up. Yeah, it means we might actually be able to play some games and I can drive home today. Ooh. I hope these pictures are clear enough. Uh, that's really my only concern. If I have to redo this one. Dan will just cry. He probably call me up off the drive down there. I'm okay with that. We got this. Okay, that's 24. Let's go ahead and pause that video. Alright, here we go. Pausing.